So in today's video, I will be demonstrating how to light and photograph a simple fine art portrait. So hi everyone, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines, and welcome to the channel. So once again, we are here in my small home studio, and for you guys who are not familiar with the channel, this is a relatively small shooting area of about 2 meters wide and 3.5 meters deep. Now, there are two things that we need to consider whenever we're creating a fine art portrait. Number one is the background that we're going to be using, and number two, the type of light or the quality of light that we will be creating. So let's talk about the background first. Well, the background that I'm going to be using today is this one. This is a hand-painted backdrop by Kate Backdrop or Studio Clot. And um, basically, this is about 7 feet wide and 9 feet tall. And I actually want to make it slightly higher today because I want to show some more of these uh, areas below. And that's how simple it is. It's basically just a canvas backdrop that's hand-painted. Right now, I'm not going to be using the full nine feet because the subject that I'm going to be shooting today is about this high, which you guys will see later. Because actually, the point of this whole video is to create a very simple lighting setup that even kids can use. So, is it level? I think we need to make this one a bit higher. So this is the first thing that you need to do. You need to be able to have a backdrop that will give that fine art look. So these hand-painted backdrops are actually perfect. Now, secondly, is the light that we will be creating. Now, the light that you normally have when it comes to fine art photographs is a very, very soft light. And we're going to be able to achieve that today by using two modifiers, a relatively small modifier right here, and this one, this is a scrim, which I will explain later. Now, everything will be powered using this one. This is the Nanlite FC300B. This is a new light from Nanlite. It's actually a continuous light. So it's 300 watts. And one of the reasons on why I like using continuous light, especially for this type of situation, is that continuous lights inherently are softer. And as I said, we're going to try to get the softest possible light that we can. So this is a 300B. As I said, it's a 300 watt LED light. That's bicolor. But right now, we don't really need to use the bicolor option. So we'll just set it at 5600 Kelvin. And these lights are actually fantastic. I did a very short, I did a short actually when this one was released. And I felt that this is a winner from Landlight because number one, it is very similar to their FS line except that this one has an option to be upgraded to the features of their Forza line. So it's fantastic, actually, and it comes a very nice carrying case like this one. So let's set this one up, okay? So this is a night light that we're going to be using. All right, see? The carrying case is pretty cool. It's actually very nice. Look, so from here, we could put this one here. Now, the modifier that I will be using is this. This is a Nanlite 60cm Octabank. And what I did was I actually put two diffusion panels just to create softer light. And we are going to install it on this light this way. And of course, whenever you're putting a modifier on lights like this, it's always best to have them facing upwards so that the weight of the modifier is the one that's going to carry it down the slot. Okay, so let's move this aside. and. What I'm going to do today is I am actually even going to give you the exact measurements on how far this light is from the subject and from the scrim so that you can repeat this in your small home studio. So let me set up this light now. All right, so in case you guys are wondering what a scrim is, it's basically just a diffusion panel like so. So this one is about, if I'm not mistaken, well, let's measure it. This is 100 cm, so that's about one meter by... 1.5 meters. So this is a 1 meter by 1.5 meter scrim. And I have my, my light right here in the back. So I am basically getting the light coming from this light that's already double diffused, and I will diffuse it even more with the scrim. So I will put my scrim right here. Now the distance of the light from the scrim is about 16 inches. The distance of this scrim to the background Approximately is about two feet, and the center of the light to the background will be about five feet. All right? So, this is the camera that I will be using, which we will set up now. 
So the camera that I'm going to be using today is my Sony A7R Mark V with a 50mm 1.2 lens. The reason why I decided to use my 50mm 1.2 is because I want that creamy bokeh and that's why I'm going to be shooting at 1.2 today. Now, the settings of my camera, I will actually set the moment we turn off all these studio lights because all these studio lights will bleed into the continuous lights that we are using. So that is one big difference when it comes to using continuous lights. It is not powerful enough to actually overpower all these lights because these are all continuous lights too. But, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a minor thing actually, especially if you're shooting here in a controlled environment like this one. I can just turn off all the lights and have the light coming from here, which is basically right now going to be set at full power 5600 Kelvin. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make sure that we are getting a nice wrap around light on my subject. So I guess this is the time. Well, the only thing that I'm going to set actually, so I am shooting on manual mode, but I will set my white balance as you can see now at 5600 Kelvin. And by the way, I am actually recording on my phone through the help of this CMO from Axoon. What it does is that it connects wirelessly, or I'm sorry, it connects via HDMI to my camera and it's got a cable that connects to the lighting part of my phone. Then I can just do a screen recording, which is what I'm doing now. So basically everything that you will be seeing is straight out of the camera. Absolutely no editing will be done until stated otherwise or most likely at the very end of the video. Now, if you guys are familiar with the channel, you know that this is more or less the time when I would say I would like to call in my wife Coco, who will be my model for today. But it is actually going to be something different because I am going to be calling my kids and they will be shooting each other. Because the whole point of what I am trying to do here is we are going to do a setup so simple that even kids can actually use them. Come on in, babies. Come here, Wana. So this is Wana. This is my second daughter. She's going to be our model for today. And as I said earlier, this particular setup is childproof. So I'm not even be the one. I'm not the one who's going to be shooting. But I will call my son. Hi, me. Hi, me. Come on in. See, hi, me. Hi, me. Here, you'll be the photographer. Hi, me. Will now be the photographer. Now. As I said earlier, there's going to be a lot of light leak coming from all these studio lights, which I will turn off in a second. But in, for the purpose of making everything, well, for, for you guys to have an idea on how far everything is, Wana right now is about four feet away from the camera. She is 32 inches away from the light. And the height of the camera is approximately two and a half feet to three feet. Okay. So now for, in order for us to fix the exposure, let's turn off the light. But in case you guys are wondering what this is, this is actually my microphone from Saramonic. I'll probably do a dedicated video on this one. It's just so cool. Look, my logo is right there. Well, yeah, it's right there. Okay, so clap your hands. Let's turn off the light. Clap your hands. So now that all the ambient light is turned off, the only light that we are getting is coming from this NAN light once again, this NAN light FC300B. So my white balance is set at 5600 Kelvin. I am on manual mode. We're on ISO 100, f1.2, 1 over 400. Jaime, what do you think? Do you like the way Wana looks like? Yeah. yeah? Or do you want Wana to move forward? Forward. Forward. OK, Wana, move forward. So now, as I said, this lighting simple is so easy. OK, Jaime, go. You can take pictures of Wana now. But don't forget to pose her. And that's why I'm using continuous light, because continuous light doesn't really distract them. You notice they can keep shooting, and basically you, you don't see them closing their eyes. Oh, Wana, come on, give me some nice poses. Don't be shy. Okay, Jaime, start, po start posing Wana. Okay. Oh, where should Wana face? Here. The, the, the camera or towards the light? Okay, Wana, towards the light. And then look at me, Wana. Then you smile. <laughs> So you see, fine art portraits is all about beautiful window light. And as you can see right now, from her, from the way the light is hitting her face, it's beautifully soft because of the triple diffusion that we're doing. Okay, Wana. All right, Wana. Look towards the light. There. Very nice. Oh, come on. Just smile. Don't be shy. Look towards the light. There. There we go. Pretend that you see something really, really cute. Okay, Jaime, go. Take a picture of Wana. Don't be shy. Oh, you talk to Wana. Don't forget. Wanna? Wanna? 
Thank you, babies. I hope you guys had fun, right? Yeah. Right? Okay. So with fine art portraits and fine art lighting, the whole point of everything is to make sure that number one, you've got an amazing backdrop like this one. So this is a fine, this is a hand-painted backdrop by Kate Backdrop or Studio Clot. It's um, just fantastic. I'll put the link in the description below. And then I created really, really soft light by number one. Inherently, I already had soft light, which is basically my Nanlite FC. 300B right there because continuous lights generally are softer. Then once again, I had my light double diffused like so. And then I had another diffusion panel here, which was my scrim. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this relatively very, very simple video. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell. And at the same time, like the video because it does help the algorithm. Now, if you want to see some of my video or some of the images that I've already created, you could always find me on my social media sites in Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, all at Jiggy Alejandrino. Okay, till the next video.